We did see a drop in new cases from China tonight. Also, more people are getting back to work. So the question is, have we hit a turning point? Eunice Yoon is live in Beijing. Eunice, as we mentioned, it looks like the, the new cases have plateaued at the very least. Maybe they're coming down in Hubei. Uh, what are you seeing on the streets of Beijing? Well, you are seeing more people out on the streets uh, shopping in supermarkets and uh, buying uh, their basic necessities. But there's still uh, 760 million people effectively under quarantine. And that's having a major effect on a lot of companies that sell to Americans and their ability to produce goods. Uh, there was an interesting survey by of, of U.S. businesses by the American Chamber of Commerce in Shanghai, which found that half of those polled expected a lack of work because of all these travel restrictions to continue to dog production for up to four weeks. Now, separately, uh, we had some really sad news today. The director of one of the leading hospitals at the epicenter in Wuhan passed away. And this director was the seventh health worker to die from the virus out of 3,000 now medical personnel who have been infected. Tyler? All right, 760 million people effectively under quarantine. That's twice the number of people who live in the United States, or more than twice, and I guess roughly half of those who live in China. Eunice Yoon, thank you very much.